How do you do? This is John here with Body Talk, uh, all things massage related. Uh, we're going to expand off of the last video. Um, the last video was about uh, neck posture and, and where that uh, contributes to working overtime. And now we're going to go one step down and look at the shoulder. So um, the shoulder is a big chunk of meat and has some weight to it. And the farther forward it is, um, the more torque it's going to be asking, um, yeah, sort of more response. If you're holding a weight in front of you, the farther out you hold it, the more exhausting it's going to be to hold that exact same weight. The weight of the arm, the farther it moves forward, the more the body is going to want to fall forward, and that is going to cause some uh, long-term problems in the back. So we want the shoulders to be uh, basically, ideally, in line with the whole of the ear. And so, whole of the ear, center of the shoulder, hip bone, ankle. That's basically our nice little convenient line. Um, I guess let's explore why our society, our world is doing stuff in front of us. And we also tend to uh, focus, fixate, and compress on the things in front of us, which gets things farther uh, rolling forward. And we don't always take the time to open up and spread the chest. So what can you do? Um, there is the uh, occasionally taking note of where things are uh, slumped forward. And the alternative is to occasionally uh, reverse things, you know, grabbing the hands behind the back, giving it a little bit of a, a stretch, perhaps even a sustained engagement to encourage opening of the chest. Um, and considering if you're doing some, uh, you know, desk job work, if you're doing this for eight hours, doing a backward stretch for 30 seconds is not going to reverse it. So it's something that needs to be done a little bit diligently all the time to encourage the body to stay mobile. If the body is always collapsed forward, then your body is going to be built to facilitate that. And unfortunately, it's going to facilitate that by limiting the other ranges of motion that you don't use. So um, what did we learn here? Um, Collapsing forward shoulders is a problem. You need to occasionally and uh, frequently uh, reverse the direction, open up the chest, stretch things out, and that will lead to a uh, easier, more mobile, capable life. There we go. That's three minutes of uh, your time. Hopefully it's helpful. Uh, this has been Body Talk. Thanks for watching.